Welcome to my tutorial about using FastZone Catter for the project that we have going on Tuesday night. So I'm recommending that people get FastZone Capture 5.3. And the reason is, is that the current version, this is this is a completely free version, the current version of of FastStone Capture 5.3. Now, here I am. I did this Google search. The first one is A Plus Freeware, and down here you can actually download download FastStone Capture 5.3. Um, I'm going to save it to desktop. And now, the reason I'm doing 5.3 is that it's all it's completely free. And if I, um, the current version, you need you have 30 days, and then you need to um, pay for it, and it's about twenty dollars. I'm going to hit extract all files. Next, make sure the show extracted files are showing. Hit finish, and then I hit the exe setup. All right, of course I agree. Make sure you read the fine print, and we are installing it. Now I'm not going to run it directly. I want to make sure that you guys can see that the program is going to be right there. So there it is, FastStone Capture. All right. This is what you'll see when it comes up. You see this little box right there. I'm going to close some stuff. I'm going to bring the close up my downloads, declutter some stuff. Here it is, FastStone Capture um, 5.3. Now, we're going to go through the setup of how to set up this. Now, I have the web browser in the background. You don't need to do that. This is settings. So right here is settings. There's a help file. There's also a tutorial. I recommend people you know, going ahead and exploring that to get the most out of this program. Here's the settings file. Now, the first thing we want to do is come down here where it says file name, file name template. In the front, I'm going to put in, say you're doing California. Now, why, um, why is, means year, M means month, D means day, H is hour, N is actually minute, and S is second. Now I'm going to put a little dash between the hour, N for a minute, and the second, um, so that I can get a little bit better idea of what you know what time it is that that it does get captured. Next thing we want to do is we want to select an output folder for our autosave. So coming over here, saying select output folder, and I'm on my desktop right here. And I'm just going to create a new file. And I'm going to type in California. And it comes, it automatically alphabetizes it. There it is. I'm going to select it and I'm going to hit OK. So, Documents, Settings, California Desktop. All right. The next thing we want to do is we want to be able to capture this information quickly. Now, the, the way it's set up right now is that when you hit the print screen button on your keyboard, you're just going to capture the, the, the screen that you're looking at. You're just going to capture what you look at. And I don't like that. I want to capture everything, the entire web page. So I'm going to take this. Um, we want the, to be able to capture the scrolling window very simply. So I need to delete. Um, the capture full screen mode, and I'm doing this. There's several different ways that you can do this, but I'm going to delete that so that I can. What I'm doing is hitting my print screen button on my keyboard right now, so that when I hit print screen, it's going to capture all the data that I want for the website that I'm looking at. We'll go into that a little bit later. Now we want to change the screen magnifier down to 1.5. And the last thing that we want to do is down here where it says PNG output format. Okay, 
we're going to switch that down to PDF. Okay, and that's what we're using for this project, this particular project. You can do any of these other formats for whatever you want to do. Uh, PNG, JPEG, all of those are useful, but for this project we're doing P, um, the PDF format. I'm going to hit OK. Now the next thing that I want to do is um, under, this is our output, so where does the information go to? And I want it to go to File, and I want to do it autosave. I want it to be as simple as possible. Now there's some tricks here, and I'm going to go over that in a minute, but I'm going to click to, to File. Now I want to just show you, actually no, I shouldn't do that. Let me close that, sorry about that. Going down to my, and here it is, California. This is the file, I'm just going to open it up. This is our file that I'm going to be saving the data capture to. So coming up to Mozilla, we're going to go to primary exit polls. Here's the information. Here's the website one cap. It's really important we take it and we're up at the top of the website when we do this. We can either hit this button, okay, and we get this red box, or we can hit the print screen button. And then we'll get this red box. Now we can move this red box around, but we want to keep it right here because this will capture all the data that's on this web page. So I'm going to click again. And now I'm not doing anything, this is program working. It is actually taking a picture of this web page now. It made a little click sound that we're done. Now we're at down at the bottom of the page. Okay. So I'm going to hit my home button, or you can scroll upward, whatever you want to do. I'm up at the top, and say I want to do that again. So I'll reload the current page, okay, 15 minutes later. Hit the print screen button, or this button here, um, and then we can actually get it again. Let's take a look at what we did. Here is the California primary. I'm going to open up my of this, and here it is in PDF format, Adobe Acrobat Reader. I can scroll down. We've taken a picture of the page. Now, something, I'm going to close this right now. Thing that is very, um, I'm going to minimize that. Something that's a, that's a dangerous trick. So, say capture information, okay? You're down at the bottom. You do reload page. For what program brings you back down at the bottom of the page, and then you hit this button and you capture the screen, okay? You're, you're capturing the information. I'm going to take a look at that. Um, this is the next one that we did. Okay, so this is 1932, 1933. So that's 19 hours and 33 minutes. I'm going to open this. When you capture that data from the bottom of the screen, all you see is what you're looking at and below. You cannot see everything above it. So uh, this is all I can see. I can't scroll up. I can't see anything above this. I'm going to close this now. So I'm going to minimize this. So when the data cap, make sure that you're up at the top of the screen. You do the data capture, have the red marker, click again, and it'll, it'll do a data capture for the entire screen. And then we'll click sound, open this up, and here's the 1934, 19 hours and 34 minutes. Here it is in Adobe Pattern and Type. Hope this is helpful to you all. Uh, um, Email me if there's any questions.